Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Inevitably, your presence will be requested in a meeting. When you receive a meeting request, it is important to know how to respond to it. When you receive meeting requests, they will actually appear in the inbox of your mail folder as they are essentially an email message. Here you can double click on the meeting request to open it in a new window and click one of the buttons that appear within the Respond button group on the meeting tab. Accept, Tentative, Decline, or if allowed by the meeting organizer, Propose New Time. Clicking Accept informs the organizer that you will be able to attend the meeting. This will also move the meeting into your calendar. Clicking Tentative informs the meeting organizer that you may be able to attend the meeting. The meeting will be moved into your calendar as if you had accepted it. Clicking Decline informs the organizer that you will not be attending the meeting. The meeting is not placed into your calendar when you decline the meeting request. If allowed by the meeting organizer, you can also click the Propose New Time button which allows you to propose an alternative time for the meeting in another dialog box. This will then be sent to the organizer as a new meeting request. They may then change the time to accommodate your availability or they may not. After choosing which response to send to the meeting organizer, you must choose one of the options presented before you can send your response to the meeting. You have three options. Edit the response before sending, which will open the Meeting Response dialog box and allow you to add comments to your response. Send the response now, which will send your response as is. Or do not send a response, which will accept or decline the meeting on your calendar but will not inform the meeting organizer. This is usually not recommended. You will not see this dialog box if you click the Propose New Time button, which allows you to set a new time and then resubmit a meeting request to the original meeting organizer through a separate dialog box. After you've made your choice, the meeting request will be deleted from your inbox folder and the meeting will be entered into your calendar automatically if you accepted it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.